today's video, we're going to be talking about the best way to make money in Stardew Valley. And that is none other than the ancient fruit. With this method, I make on average about 1.2 million. I said it 1.2 million dollars every week in Stardew Valley. That's right. Every week. So the way I do this, I'm going to show you guys. And I would say this is a bit of a mid to mid to late game money making strategy. I'm going to make another video on some early game money making strategies, but this one's a mid to late. So as you can see, I have these five sheds and they're all colored blue. And there's a reason for that. If you go inside them, they're all and I mean all filled with kegs now you might be asking project mick why are you filling them with kegs would you just have five sheds of fucking kegs sitting around no there's a reason putting ancient fruit into kegs is the best most efficient way of making money in this game i promise you you might think oh pigs truffles oh star fruit no 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 just ancient fruit just ancient fruit. Just don't question it. And do ancient fruit. Now you might be asking. Project Mick. How do you feed. These gigantic. Houses. Full of sheds. Well I'll show you. I'll show you. First one way. I feed. The gigantic. Storages of kegs I have there. We're going to come up here in the greenhouse. And as you can see. This greenhouse is. Filled with Asian fruit filled exclude the star fruit here this is just for now but this used to be filled with H fruit and you might be asking me that's not enough that's not even near enough what do you fucking did no shut your mouth Jimmy I'm not if you come on over here grab on the trusty old steed we go all the way down here into the obelisk area and we warp to ginger island you will see that i have a ginger island farm that is filled to the brim with asian fruit because that's what it is this is my ginger island farm it is solely for money making purposes right now and it is filled with asian fruit now you might be saying this takes a while to harvest. And yeah, it does. But who gives a fuck when you're making 1.2 million every week? You sit here and you harvest it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to harvest it. I'm going to speed up the uh, recording for you guys and harvest all of this. And then I'll see you back at the sheds. And just like that, we have over 400 ancient fruit harvested. Now, once you harvest all this, oh, I missed one there. Okay. Okay. Once you've harvested all this, you're going to go on back to your house, wherever you do that, just like I am, or wherever you store your kegs, you're going to go into your kegs. And then once you're at your kegs, you're going to shove. This 400, actually, you're not going to do that yet. You're going to go into here. Then you're going to harvest your greenhouse first. And now you're going to go to your kegs. Now 
Now you're going to shove all this 500 agent fruit that you have made and you're going to shove it into these kegs. Now that you have done that, and excuse the last couple I didn't fill, I replaced some of them in my um, greenhouse, so whatever. But now that you've done that, you have successfully started the process of making 1.2 million gold in a week in less than a day of Stardew Valley. Now what you're going to do, you're going to do the hardest part. You're going to go back to your house. And it is Thursday, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep till next Thursday. And it might be a little complicated for you guys, but I'll, I'll take you step by step exactly how to do that. Now come to your bed, and you're going to do this. And now that you've done that, you have almost completed the step of getting 1.2 million gold in one week of Stardew Valley. There's one last step left, and it is honestly the most satisfying. You're going to go all the way to your ancient fruit barrels, wherever you were, and you're going to harvest all of them, because they should be done. Just like that, they're done.
you have your 633 bottles of ancient fruit. And for the last step to really bring it home and bring home the moolah, you know, take your ancient fruit wine that you've just collected, just harvested, done all the trouble you got. You're going to chuck it in the bin. You're going to go right back to your bed and you're going to sleep for the last time. And you're just going to watch that money roll in. Let's do it one last sleep. Show me the cash. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. One million gold. Let's say 1.2 because usually you sell some more stuff during that week. That should get you to the 1.2. But that is how you make one million gold in one week of Stardew Valley. It took me about 20 minutes real life time. 1.2 million gold that is probably the easiest and most efficient way to get as much gold as you can in stardew valley okay but in all seriousness that is literally the easiest and most efficient way to make as much gold as you can in stardew valley if you're looking for a way to do it i've been through all of the youtube videos all of the safari searches and Really, the best way you can get gold in Stardew Valley and get that golden clock is just grind for your kegs, find your first Asian fruit, put in a seed maker, and just repeat that process until you get as much ancient fruit as you can. It might take a while, but if you want to do mass skill money, that's really how you have to do it. And honestly, there really is no cheat, but for mid to late game, that is the easiest way with no cheats or mods to get a lot of money. And you can put your kegs wherever. Like, I only put them in the shed because I'm a kind of design freak and I like things organized. But I've seen people put them in the street tunnel where the bus is, the core. You can really go as big and as much as you want with it. But that's just how big I went. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if the strategy helps you guys in your Stardew Valley Let's Plays. And I really want to just thank you guys again for the, the appreciation on that last post got a lot of views and i'm really thankful for all you guys and i'm just really hoping that this keeps up and we can keep making some quality content together please subscribe if you're new helps me out a ton if you subscribe but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace